And then for my birthday, uh, my husband, it's birthday, nope. It's not my birthday. My birthday is in October. Hey guys, it's Sarah. And today let's talk about all the books that I hauled in the month of May. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I bought four. <laughs> bought four of them myself. And then uh, the rest were either sent to me from publishers or sent to me as gifts, which was super nice, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about them. Okay, this first one it was sent to me from the publisher. This is from Wednesday Books. I'd never heard of this. This is called Primal Animals. This is by Julia Lynn Rubin. Oh, this one came with a signed book plate, which is awesome. And a couple of these stickers that says protect the girls. Cute. I'll have to add those in here. So this one actually follows a girl who is reluctantly sent to a boarding school by her mother. And it is set... Um, kind of deep in the woods in North Carolina. And she is sent there to do some kind of prep classes, courses, things like that to kind of help her get back on track because she wasn't doing so great in school. So she reluctantly goes. She doesn't really want to, but her mother doesn't give her a choice. So she's there. She finds um, some solace in some people who are there as well. And she's kind of thinking maybe this won't be so bad, but then some things start to happen that are kind of getting re really weird. And she gets invited into the secret society that she finds out is there. And um, so things kind of start going crazy from there. So um, yeah, totally. I'd never heard of this before, but um, super awesome and excited for this one now because I love academic schools settings and I love um, like secret society stuff. That's great. This one came out at the end of May, so it's already available now. Okay, this next one was sent to me from Berkeley and I was really excited to get a finished copy of this one, but this is My Summer Darlings by May Cobb. And this one is following a group of friends who live very close to each other. They're all in the same neighborhood and they have grown up together. They've always been friends. And now they're, they have their own families and they're just all, you know, still living close to each other. And then um, someone new moves into the neighborhood, a man, and he is very um, interesting to all three of these friends for different reasons. And I think it follows them getting to know him and the impact he's having on them not only individually, but as their friendships go. And I'm sure it's going to be like crazy drama and I'm totally here for it. A huge thanks to the publishers for those two. For Mother's Day, my husband um, was very sneaky and he ended up getting me The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton. Now, I've been trying to not buy as many books as of late. I'm trying to read more than I buy and unhaul more than I buy and do all these things because my shelves are bursting. And so I kind of am making some very um, hard decisions on what I'm purchasing and what I'm pre-ordering. And this was something I had pre-ordered. I ended up canceling it because I just thought, okay, I can, I, I can wait on it. <laughs> I really do want to read it and I really do want it for my shelves, but I can wait. And so um, throughout this whole process, I've been talking to my husband about it a lot and he went on to Amazon and figured out what I just canceled and he went ahead and ordered it for me. So love him for that. Uh, but yeah, so this is a middle grade series. This is the first book in a new series for middle grade. And it involves a magic school that is set in the clouds. And I'm just, I'm so excited to read this. Um, I don't think I'm going to be waiting too long to pick this one up. In these next two, um, I got a very sweet gift box from Mindy. And um, she said she had some stuff that she had gotten in some fairy loot boxes and she wasn't going to use it and thought some of it would be interesting to me and asked if she could send me along a box. And I was like, um, I'm not going to say no, absolutely. So she sent me some really cool stuff. Thank you so much, Mindy. And she included a couple books in there as well. So um, this first one here is Year of the Reaper. This is by... Makia Lucier, I think. How flipping gorgeous is this? It's got sprayed edges. So this is like a fairy loot exclusive edition here. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, you guys. How beautiful is that? So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so this is um, I think it's a fantasy. Let's see. Okay, yeah. So this is, um, it sounds like it's a fantasy book and it's yeah, that sounds like fun. Um, it also has a signed book plate that's already in there. So thank you so much, Mindy. Like I'm, I'm super excited for this one. And seriously, this is so gorgeous. She also threw in there a fun one. And this is The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. Look how cute. Look how cute. Is this going to be like 
vampires. Let's see. Okay, Elise is cursed. Every time she touches someone, she experiences how they will die. Ooh, that would be so horrible. She predicts but is unable to prevent her brother's death. She is desperate to escape. Then she meets Claire, a vampire, tasked with helping Elise master her rare powers and recruiting her to the Veil, a secret organization determined to protect paranormal world at all costs. Ooh, fun. Absolutely. There's more on there, but I'm just going to stop there. Um, that sounds like fun. This would be a fun October read, I think. So yeah, thank you so much, Mindy. Okay. And then my friend Melinda um, reached out to me because I had just read uh, Razor Blade Tears by S.A. Cosby and I desperately wanted to get my hands on more of his work. And um, so she sent me a message and said, you want to read this, right? I have two copies of this book and you're welcome to one of them. And I was like, yes, I do. Thank you so much. So she sent me Blacktop Wasteland by S.A. Cosby. And I'm so excited. No idea what it's about. Don't care. I'm going to read it. And I'm positive. I'm probably going to be blown away. Um, but this was his release that was previous to razor blade tears. So, yep. And then he does have another book that was published before this one. Um, they are actually re-releasing it later this year in paperback. So that has gone on my wish list as well. Um, so I'm excited for that because they're going to re-release his first published book as well. So yeah, but I, I have a feeling this is going to be a favorite author of mine. So I'm very excited to have this one by him. Thank you very much, Melinda. And then um, my friend Julie was um, giving away some of her books. She kind of posted a little picture on Facebook and said, if you want any of these, let me know and I'll send it to you. And I was like, um, I would like this one, please. So I totally took her up on that offer. <laughs> and that is Dark Roads. This is by Chevy Stevens. I have a whole bunch of Chevy Stevens up here. Um, I have read a couple of her books and I loved them. They were both five stars for me. So I definitely want to read more from her. This is her most recent release and I'm definitely excited to add this to my shelves and, you know, read it at some point. So thank you, Julie. Okay, books I purchased. Um, oh, this one was a little bit of a disappointment, I'm not gonna lie. This, uh, I got on Pango and it was listed as a paperback in good condition. Um, however, it came as a mass market paperback and I hate them. I, I would not have purchased this if I had known it was a mass market. It was only $2, which probably should have been one of my first signs there. Um, but this is Little Secrets by Jennifer Hillier. So I don't even know that I'm going to keep this or not, to be honest. Um, and the spine is cracked in like four different places, which drives me nuts. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, reading this size and holding it the way that this is, it just, it hurts my hands after a while. Like I can't stand it. So um, I don't know that I'm going to end up hanging on to this. I might just for now until I can replace it with a bigger copy. Like I want a big paperback. Um, so that was the only thing that when it came, I was like, oh man, I wouldn't have bought it if I had known it was the smaller paperback size because they do have it in a bigger paperback and I thought that's what it was. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a bummer. So I'm going to hang on to it for now until I can replace it with the bigger paperback, but like, ugh. Okay, and then I also got, after I do, by Taylor Jenkins Reid, I got it in the cover that I want because I had talked about how her books are getting rebranded and getting new covers, and I don't like them as much. I like the original covers of her backlist books, so I'm, I'm collecting <laughs> them. Um, so I actually have, I'm, I'm getting them all. So, um, I do have one true loves coming to me from a friend after she's done reading it. She's going to send me her copy with the cover that I like. I found this one on Facebook. Um, I do have maybe in another life on my shelf already that was sent to me from Lindsay actually a while ago. And then I did find forever interrupted as well. And that's on its way to me. It actually should be here sometime this week. So I do have all of them like either in my possession or on their way to me. So I'm good on Taylor Jenkins read now. But um, this one is the one that I have physically to show you for right now. But uh, yeah, so I'm very excited to read this. And then I went to Barnes & Noble after I got my hair cut one day and I picked up Fool Me Once by Ashley Winstead. This is by the same author who wrote In My Dreams of Hold a Knife, which was one of my favorite books last year. I absolutely love that book. And I immediately knew I wanted to pick this one up, especially I've been hearing pretty good things about this one. And this is actually a romance book. So it's not a thriller that she has written before. It's going to be in a different genre, but I'm really excited to get into this and to see how she is as a romance writer as well. And then she does have another thriller coming out this year that is 
one of my most anticipated releases. I'm so excited for that one. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed this one at Barnes and Noble. Then um, I remembered <laughs> that I was a member of the Penguin Rewards Program. So this is set up by Penguin Random House Publishing and you can set up an account to be in their rewards program. And what you do is when you buy one of their books, something that is published by Penguin Random House, um, you can upload your proof of purchase for that book. It has to be a retail. It can't be like used or you know thrifted or whatever. It has to be like a retail store. Um, but that includes, you know, Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, like any stop. It includes um, Amazon. It includes a book outlet. It includes um, independent bookstores, anything that you can provide a physical receipt for. Um, even if it's a screenshot of your order online, then all of that counts and you can add points up. So every book is worth 10 points, every book you purchase. And when you get to 120 points, you can turn those points in for a free book up to $30 from Penguin Random House on their website. Um, so I forgot that I was in that program and I realized I had some books that I could add on there. Um, book of the month also counts too, which was a big help for me. <laughs> and, um, so I took the time and I went through all of the books that I had purchased, um, from when I signed up for the program. So any, anything you purchase from the time you signed up for the program forward, um, even if it was like six months ago or something, you can add those on there. Um, and so I did some research and figured out what I could put on there. I went through my book outlet purchases. I went through um, Amazon purchases, book of the month purchases, all of that stuff. And I was able to upload all these. And someone actually does like go through and approve them. And um, I got to 120 points and then some. <laughs> so that was really nice. And I used those points to get a hardcover of Book Lovers by Emily Henry, which is my most anticipated book of the entire year. So I got it for free and it's a hardcover and it is beautiful. Oh my gosh, this book is so pretty and I'm hearing such good things about it. So I am so excited to dive into this one. And yeah, um, I will be doing that this summer for sure. Like this is definitely on my list to read this summer, but it was nice to get it for free. Not gonna lie. And in a hardcover, like the work was worth it. <laughs> Once I got the hang of uploading the stuff, it didn't take me too long, but um, I need to keep that in mind from now on, like when I make purchases, see what qualifies for it. So um, if you guys want to check out that rewards program, I will leave the website link down below where you can check out all the details and all the rules and all that stuff and how it works and everything. I'll leave that down below. But for me, just this book worth it. Okay, guys, that is my book haul. That's, that wasn't too bad. I think that was pretty good. I'm okay. <laughs> I am definitely um, going to be not purchasing books over the summer intentionally. There's quite a few books coming out in August that I might need to look at. So we'll see. But June and July, I am purposefully not going to be spending money on books myself. So anything that comes in will be stuff that's sent. So um, that is the plan as of right now. Let's hope I can stick to it. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, because August is kind of a big month for releases. I have, there's a lot in August coming out that I want and I'm going to have to like be very picky and choosy oh, just for space sake. And I should be reading so that I can make space for new, for new books coming in. Right. And yeah. Okay. That's going to be it for me today. Please let me know your thoughts down below and I will talk to you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day.